let me do this again until I get it right. This is for the pro se litigant, the pro se plaintiff, the plaintiff that represents themselves in the intactivism movement. Um, you can represent yourself in court. You cannot represent another person. Go to the local circuit court or go on to their website at the civil division and um, check their local rules. It's really, really simple. I, uh, I'm going to link a ready-to-go complaint. You need a cover sheet to go with it and a summons form. And I will link those as well. This is a case of intentional infliction of emotional distress. You cannot talk about your circumcision uh, in the complaint. You don't have to be circumcised. You don't have to be a male. <clears throat> uh, the whole reason the intactivism movement exists is because we are severely emotionally distressed. And the uh, tort of intentional infliction of emotional distress has four elements to it. You can look it up. One of them is um, it's something that has to a uh, regular member of a civilized society has to look at this and, and exclaim, outrageous! And uh, this is where you'll find people in the court system sleeping you know, as we do, doctors sleeping and clerics sleeping and uh, a lot of other people, but not everyone. And this is the thing, uh, when they, one of the things, uh, they try and claim a civilized society uh, would not exclaim outrageous. I said, man, you, you're in the wrong civilized society. You're in the uh, mesmerized society. So, it's not about your circumcision. Do not talk about your circumcision in the complaint. It gives them a reason to say to you the statute of limitations have run out. But this is intentional infliction of emotional distress. The statute of limitations do not start to run until the last baby has been tortured. This thing, you'll read it until the end of days, all of the rules of civil procedure, et cetera, et cetera. And it's all <clears throat> about formatting, 99% of it. This is all about formatting, formatting. I've given you the document, I'll link it below. Some reading and writing at the eighth grade level. Don't bother yourself. You know, this idea that you th people, this might take old age to realize it's not the case, but people think that somebody knows something they don't know and they can't write like they write. Just not the case. You know, you don't know this, and then one day you know it. If between those two points somebody tells you, and that is what I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, you may first send the hospital, pick a private hospital. Public, some public hospitals have uh, legislative protection, very low limits to their uh, uh, exposure to liability. Pick a private hospital that does not have that protection. Just one closest to you, in your state, anywhere, um, doesn't matter. You're not picking the hospital that uh, circumcised you. You can, but it's beside the point. It's not part of the complaint. So did I say the complaint, the cover sheet, and the summons form? The summons form will be made out to the registered agent of the hospital that you're suing. And the sheriff's department can serve the summons. 
they have the, probably have the cheapest fee. Um, and they'll serve it to the registered agent for the hospital. The judge is going to be the protector of the local zombies. So you're going to get um, don't so don't put time into this. Don't put your own time into this. So, form, I'm going to link it for you, print it out, uh, get the cover sheet. On the cover sheet, don't tick the boxes they want you to tick. Put on there intentional infliction of emotional distress. Don't even start to let them box you in. All of the cover sheet is just a statistical thing, not used in court. And the um, The judge is the protector of the local uh, money people, uh, business people. Is not the protector of children. This could not be more clear. Set it and forget it. Do not sweat it. Nobody cares. We've noticed this. Uh, they're not going to look at it until they're required to, which will probably be at the hearing. The judge is not going to look at it until the hearing um, that the defense will require uh, on their motion to dismiss. Don't even worry about it. When, we get, when you get that far, I'll tell you exactly what to do. I think that in the original complaint, and I did not do this, you know, um, I'm not sure um, if I saw how, but yeah, attachments, probably very easy. Include 8 by 10 or even 8.5 by 11 glossy color prints of this horror. Uh, and I will, um, I have those as well, and you know they're on all the attacktivist websites of a child being skinned alive. And maybe even link the video of the procedure um, in the original complaint. You have to open up by punching them in the face. Uh, they are extremely dissociative, extremely dissociative. You have to open up by punching them in the face. It is uh, gentle mule training met a psychiatrist once that uh, worked in the prison systems for a long time, and he just told me this joke. He says, you know, this farmer had a sign up on his barn, gentle mule training. Somebody said, oh, you know what, my mule is so difficult, I'm going to take him down there. And I said, yeah, bring him on down. And I took the mule down there. All right, well, let's get started. And the, and the old farmer gets a two by four and smacks him over the head as hard as he can, breaks a two by four. And the owner of the mule is a guest. What? You said this was gentle mule training. I said, well, yeah, it is, but you got to get their attention first. Please, Sue, this is under $500. Please do not be intimidated by these people. They are Bullies, when you punch them in the face, it's all over. 